All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and dump some of this ATF in here. So let's see what happens. I'm going to try it out, see if it cleans up the engine a little bit. All right, and in a moment, I'm gonna try dumping the seafoam in here. I'll be right back. All right, it does say in the directions for the seafoam, I'm using this uh, seafoam motor treatment. It does say to use one ounce for per gallon. No, actually in the crankcase, it says one ounce for every quart of oil. Now I don't have a measuring device. Now I did check out another video. They put in half. I'm gonna try that out. I'm gonna put in half of the bottle. Um, so we'll see how that affects. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour it. And I would say that's about half of the bottle, give or take. So I'm gonna stop that and I'm gonna start the engine right now. All right, as you can see, you have uh, 154,689, 689 miles. Let's give this a shot. Let's see what happens. So it looks like it's well below 40. So it's somewhere near like, I would say around 30 PSI right now. Now it sounds decent. <clears throat> the motor's not making a lot of noise. <clears throat> So that's what it sounds like. I'm gonna take a short drive. Let's see how it drives. All right. All right, guys. So I'm back. I'm, we're gonna go ahead and drive this thing a little bit. You can see the oil pressure is right around 20, which isn't bad. But usually, what ends up happening is that over time, that oil pressure just starts to drop on me as I drive. I'm not gonna go far. I'm just gonna go around my neighborhood. So I'm gonna put this down, I'll be back. All right guys, so take a look at this. After about 10 minutes of driving, look at that low oil pressure and then the service traction control light has uh, come on. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, the interesting part is that the low oil pressure light has not come back on. It usually does by this time, but we'll see. I'm gonna have to drive it around a little bit more and then see if I can clean this engine out and eventually do an oil change and then go from there. Let's see what happens. What do you guys think? Is this going to work or not? Let me know. You guys, hopefully you guys like this video. Check it on out.